everyone. Hey, everybody. I'm Steve. I'm Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back. Indeed. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Steve, it's the weekend. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. I know. You'd think we wouldn't be excited about it after, uh, well, having a vacation, vacation and all. And, yeah. But it is exciting. Mm-hmm. Yes, it, it is. It's also Coffee Talk Eve. Mm-hmm. There's that, too. That, too. Did we you hear the news? We're back, y'all. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow. Yes, we are. <laughs> no promises on what time of day that's coming out, though. Yeah, we have some things that we're working out. Well, you know, one being the set, we finally have the uh, our it's studio life. set up, you know? Always room to tweak, but I like it better than it was. Yeah, so we... um. Somebody got us a studio set for one of our wedding gifts, mm-hmm. and um, it has a like a truss system that holds backdrops, like behind us. Mm-hmm. Um, it has two light towers, like with the umbrellas. That's what these are here. Mm-hmm. So we have new light, and we have new, you know, like rigging hanging that that holds things, and it's so nice and so cool. Yeah. I we won't know what it looks like till we see the video yeah. but we um, tested it a couple times and it's, it's it seems better. okay it yeah. seems better so. you know and i'm so like over the moon with this gift yeah i wanted this for so long yeah you did so long and we just kind of were like putting it off putting it off it's like, well know. we're doing okay with flashlights you know yeah like this, right i know <laughs> there's little square led lights everywhere but I know. um but now we have some uh some nice equipment to use mm-hmm. and um now i'm gonna get some microphones <gasps> that'll be the next thing we're gonna get some microphones that like kind of clip on us i guess yeah. they're wireless so that Maybe there won't be, like, echo and stuff like that. So that'll be the next thing we do. But I totally dig it. Do you like the way it looks? I mean, I, I'm anxious to see the video. You guys know because yeah. you, you see the videos all you the see time. All the time. I don't watch, we don't watch our own videos. Yeah, all the time. yeah not all the time. So, but, yeah, this is um, comfy. Mm-hmm. This piece of furniture is new to us. Yeah, and, um, couch. It's, it's it's sleek. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's sleek. We, I wanted it like Fanded reminiscent of the old place, like yeah, a, the old a couch and that, that kind yeah. of yeah, dang kind of look cave like atmosphere. <laughs> well, not that, but I meant mess. No, really it's the, the lights, couch, you know. <laughs> But yeah, kid, yeah, Bandit already. We moved the couch in, and within five minutes, Bandit was on it. He was, and he up. did not get off. Mm-mm. So I think this is his couch. I think it's his. He's gonna hang in here. I have designs on making it half man cave, half studio. Oh. So I have somewhere to go, but it's we're still like um. Somewhere we need somewhere, somewhere to, to go. Somewhere to do things that you don't like, and I don't want to feel like I can't do them because you're in the room. We have like if I want to watch eight hours of Sam so talks. Much... Yeah, well, yeah, that's on you. I don't, well, you watch eight hours of CNN. I yeah, I watch news. I like news. Yeah, I like well, news. I have it on in the background. Like, I think it's nice to have that no, on the on in the background. That's the thing. I know it's in the background, but you still won't let me turn it off, even though you're not even really watching it. I yeah, well, yeah, it's part of your routine. I know. Like it is coffee news. Well, in the morning, it's Morning Express with Robin. Yeah, Mead. and Every I just morning, I just you know. prefer to read my news than watch. Though Robin's okay. Yes, HLN is good because it's kind of like the USA Today. I love you. you know, I it's... love. I love Morning Express and we Robin Mead and Bob Van Dylan. <laughs> yes, Bob Van Dylan, Coy Wire, Andy. They're just. Mm-hmm. They're all great. Boris Sanchez on CNN, though I would leave Boris Sanchez. I would leave my life behind for him. Yeah, Boris. Boris is. He's Boris a is a hottie. He is. I have mm-hmm. to say, He's not I love him with the beard. Mm-hmm. I love him without the beard. I don't know. So but yeah, anyway, we, we how do we get on that? We really watch the news for important issues. <laughs> But then when I do after Morning Express, I do switch it on to CNN, and then I just leave it on for the rest of the day in the it's, background. You know? It's not the channel, or it's not. It's just it's it's uh, news upsets me. Well, it upsets me. yeah, and I've already voted, yeah, so I don't true. care what happens now. Yeah, it's you're right. Like the news isn't always nice no. lately, and uh, so it does. Yeah, I can see that for sure. But yeah. but anyway, we're rambling, rambling on. Well, that's what we've been up to pretty much. Well, yeah, that has been. Yeah, we got back. Well. Obviously, we're back from our honeymoon. We had a fantastic time. We shared some of it already. And I posted some pictures over on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're putting together a nice wedding video that'll include the honeymoon in it, too. So when that's done, we'll definitely put that out. Look, somebody wants to come up. You want to come up? Here, I'll move. There you go. There's a kitty. See if he comes in. Kitty came up. (laughs) It worked. There we go. Nice. Okay. 
Okay. No Never. rehearsing this. No rehearsing. No rehearsing. Say hello to everybody. Say okay, hi. there you go. Um, so yeah, so that's nice. So when we have the wedding uh, video done, we'll put that up. And um, it was so nice. Just before we formally thank everybody, mm -hmm. thank you so much. All the messages and the support and everything through that whole time with the yeah. wedding and. It just, was so nice. It was so grounding, too. It's it like was. you're doing fine. It you was. don't need to put out a video today. You're getting married tomorrow. Yeah. You yeah. know, reassurance of priorities. Right? Which was very good. It was. It was so, very nice. Not that I would have felt bad about taking five weeks off to get married, because, you know, basically it was just off of her. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I couldn't sacrifice a Saturday. No, we did a the wedding right thing plan like that. It was too much because Saturday was farts. we did a, most of our planning on the weekends you know yeah that's one time um, we had we both were working still the whole yeah. time so and I was working from home but not as much actually it's mm -hmm. thinned out a little mm -hmm. so um, yeah yeah but, uh, but um, so we were anxious to get back and say hello to everybody, and uh, you know we're in that uh, the, the the holidays. But Christmas is literally around the corner. Do you I believe can't. it's less than three weeks of Thanksgiving? I can, and I'm sick. It just you know, <laughs> it feels like it's just too close. Thanksgiving, I love love Thanksgiving. It's all the food, all the same people, none of the gifts, none of the bullshit. You don't have to you know stand under plants and have people kiss you and, yeah. and you know mm -hmm. people seem to drink a little less on thanksgiving so they can stay awake during football oh i'm a christmas i love christmas a lot more i than do thanksgiving i do too but i like christmas like a week before christmas <gasps> oh my god now. now i know the day after halloween i could not believe the christmas decorations were up and we were in i mean really we were in a, a halloween friendly town oh, yeah, <laughs> you decorations, know. Of, yeah and the next day the cbs had it was all Christmas the very next day after Halloween. Yeah. Now I'm more like, well, you guys, if you've been watching for, you know, I, I, Thanksgiving Day, I get the Christmas stuff up, and then the day after Thanksgiving is when it like officially starts for for me anyway, mm -hmm. you know. And then we leave it up till like around the sixth of January. The Russian around. Christmas. <laughs> so they call yeah. it your Russian Christmas, and then the lights come down. Yeah. Yeah. From, from, from the streets, from the street lights, that and that's when we start our. Christmas stuff here, you know, yeah. on the channel. It's the day after Thanksgiving, so yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I'm so excited. I'm glad we're not taking a cue from Lifetime and starting after Halloween. Oh, my God. I, I know. Okay, one day a week, I work at our drop-in center. Mm -hmm. It has a TV. Lately, it's not been that crowded. So for months, I just put on the Golden Girls. We have a little clatch of the three of us who like it. And um, now they show movies about a small-town boy who meets a big city girl and and they hate each other, but pretend to love each other, and then she leaves the big city for him. And it's the plot to all of them. It's the plot to all of them. <laughs> Just throw in some snow and some mistletoe. Some snow, something down home. <laughs> you know, somebody has to be from a city. Someone has to be from the country. I know it's so fun. You know what? They are addicting, though. They're so cheesy, but they are. They're very addicting. safe viewing. No one, yeah, they are. There's no murders. <laughs> right, you know, right, no, right. Nothing else like yeah. that. So, I mean, they're a little bit safe viewing, but they're a little safe even for me. I mean, I like Nick at Night and that mm -hmm. kind of, you know, safe, yeah. safe content, but <laughs> no. Well, I, as soon as I got home, I could not wait to cook something. I know, it was great. Cause we <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, since it's still autumn, we're in that period, you know, like, it's like after Halloween, but before Christmas, it's like that. Mm. It's still autumn, obviously. Yeah. I mean, winter solstice isn't until December, you know. Mm. So I wanted a recipe that would be like, you know, autumn-y, yeah. you know. So what comes to mind? Squash, of course, mm -hmm. you know. Now we've done butternut squash. We've done pumpkin soup. We've done all that. So check it out. We went into the kitchen and we made a spaghetti squash parmesan.
dun, dun. Oh, hey guys. Ooh, I have a great recipe for you today. Just perfect for this time of year. We're gonna make a spaghetti squash parmesan. Oh yeah, and if you've never used a spaghetti squash, oh, you gotta try it, okay? In my opinion, spaghetti squash is kind of underrated, you know? I mean, this is actually the original zoodle, right? I mean, really, this was out way before all these, you know, twisty, curly uh, zucchinis and squashes were done, right? Um, so this is what a spaghetti squash looks like. Well, mine, I cut it in half, but you know, you get the picture, put it together, it looks like that. <laughs> Did I have to tell you that? I didn't think so. All right, so let's get started, shall we? First thing we did was we cut our spaghetti squash in half, long ways like this, and then I just cleaned out all of the seeds and a little bit of the pulp there, okay? Now next, we're gonna season both halves with salt, dun, 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 and some pepper. And that's all the seasoning we're gonna use right now, um, just to give it a little bit of flavor there, all right? And then we have our Instant Pot ready to go. Did I tell you it's an Instant Pot recipe? Oh, yes it is. Ah. <laughs> All right, so it's ready, and I have my trivet down in there, and I have one cup of water in there too, okay? Next, we're gonna take both halves and put it right in the Instant Pot, just like that. Now, if you have a smaller Instant Pot, no worries. If, they, uh, if you have them up a little like that, oh yeah, you're just fine, okay? So, do that, and we're gonna seal her up. Dun, dun, dun. And we're gonna uh, pressure cook on high for seven minutes. Okie dokie, so while our squash is cooking, let's go over the ingredient list, okay? So this is what you need. Over here we have a tablespoon and a half of minced garlic. In addition to that, we have two tablespoons of butter, oh yeah, and then uh, we have about a cup each of shredded mozzarella and shredded parmesan. In here we have a 15 ounce container of ricotto cheese. I have about two cups of prepared marinara sauce and here I have about four cups of fresh baby spinach and as far as seasonings go in here we have a tablespoon each of fresh chopped parsley and basil and of course we have our salt and pepper too okay Whoa, okay, it's been seven minutes, so now we manually decompress the fun part. The fun. Oh, oh can yeah, I do uh, it? Yes, there's somebody who. Likes I want to do it. I want to do it. Here, here. Okay. <laughs> I swear, it's like licking uh, the heater when you're a kid. It's the fun it part. It is. <laughs> there. It there is. they are. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, so now get yourself a little sheet pan and set it next to your Instant Pot. And we're gonna take out our um, take out our spaghetti squash. I almost said butternut squash. I got, I got squash on the mind, I do. And then get all that water off of it. And we're gonna just set it down like this. And we're gonna let those cool off a little, just enough until they're easy to handle, okay? That'll probably, like, five, 10 minutes or so, okay? Alrighty, and next what we're gonna do, very carefully, because this is hot. Okay, again, I know I didn't have to tell you that, but you never know. So next, we're gonna take out the liner, and we're gonna empty that, take a trivet out, empty the water out, and we're gonna wipe it down so it's nice and dry to do the next step, okay? All right. All right, and now I put the uh, insert back in and I set our Instant Pot to saute. And now we're gonna put our butter in. Remember that was two tablespoons of butter and let that melt down just a little bit there. Alrighty, there we go. And then we're gonna add our garlic. Go there, get a little stir there. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna add all of our seasonings. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna save just about a teaspoon's worth for our garnish for later, okay? And then we're also gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. 
I know, we're seasoning our, our garlic, right? <laughs> All right, so give that a little stir there, and we're going to let that saute until our uh, garlic just starts to brown a little bit. About a minute to two minutes. And that is perfect. Okay, so next we're gonna add our marinara sauce, but we're only gonna add about half of it, okay? So that'd be about a cup. There we go. And we're gonna use the rest of it later, okay? And now give that a stir. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna let that cook while we check on our squash. Okay. I think we're good. So now we're gonna get the spaghetti from our spaghetti squash and all you need is a fork. And it's as easy as this. You're just gonna kinda pull it away from the edge. See how it shreds like that? Looks like little squash spaghetti, right? <laughs> so we're gonna do this to both um, both of our squashes here. Just throw in a little ball on the side there, okay? If it's a little hot, give it another couple minutes. It'll cool down um, very quickly, okay? All right, just perfect. Okay, and we're gonna save our halves and leave them on our sheet just like that, okay? All right, so let's check our Instant Pot here. Ooh, very good, nice and hot. All right, so now we're gonna turn this off, okay? And we're going to add our spaghetti squash to it, just like that. Just give it a little toss there. And then to that, we're going to add our spinach all at once. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. And we're just going to toss that a little bit there until our spinach starts to wilt. <laughs> all right. There we go. Okay. Now to that. We're going to add our cheeses. Now this is Parmesan, and we're gonna do about half of what we have. We have about a heaping cup here, you know. So about a half cup each, and that's our mozzarella. And our ricotta, all at once. Damn, all right. Now for this part, what we're gonna do is we just wanna kinda toss it to coat. It's okay if there are still like chunks of the of the ricotta cheese in there it's totally fine we're not really going for like a pink sauce we're going kind of for like you know we want like chunks of cheese in there okay just like that it's just easier to show you right <laughs> there okay just like that all right Woo! we are ready to go okay so now we're gonna put all that right back in here. Oh, this is gonna be so good, y'all. Bam! <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, ah, messy. Okay, so now at this point, we're gonna do a little bit of layering here. So we have our marinara sauce. We're just going to divide it on top of both of them, like this. Okay, and then we're gonna top it again with our uh, mozzarella and our Parmesan. Oh boy, oh, I wish you could smell this. I know, I say that in every single recipe, but seriously, this smells so awesome. All right, All right. okay. And then finally, we're gonna finish it off with a sprinkle of what we have left of our fresh herbs, okay? And now we bake. We're gonna bake this in a 425 degree oven until the cheese is nice and melted or even a little brown if you like up that way. That'll be anywhere from five to 10 minutes. You can also do this right in your air fryer oven too. Oh yeah, all right. I'll see you when these babies are all done. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that was exactly 10 minutes, and I think it's just perfect. Oh, it looks good. Can't wait to dig in, but we do have to wait about 10 minutes before we dig into that, okay? It's extremely hot. Think of it as like a lasagna. You kind of want to let it set a little before you cut into that. Now, this recipe is 
well, I guess officially enough for two people, but it'll definitely feed more, two to four people, depending on those people. You can very easily cut them right in half, or you can even cut those halves in half before you stuff it if you'd like. You can even cut them in thirds if you want to have smaller portions for the kiddos, okay? All right, well, let's do this ending here. <laughs> There you have it, our spaghetti squash parmesan. Ah! <laughs>
I'm good. I'm I'm looking forward to it. You know. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll have to do some more like real talks and yeah, we're due for a real and talk of course, to check in. Coffee talk is coming back. Coffee talk is coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow may be more of a let's get reacquainted sort of video. Yeah, and we'll mention to be. the last video I made was probably five or six weeks ago. Yeah, so I'll see what was current then and compare that to now. <laughs> She was still sledding her way across Montreal last time. Yeah, she's kind of global now. <laughs> now, she's, now she's too modest to share a photo of her. In her <laughs> this is so, it is, it's going to be great. Right. And uh, But yeah, I'm excited about that. And then, of course, the new year. Ah! Right. And then we'll be into 2023. Do you believe that? I'm not Less over 2020 yet. I am not over 2020 I'm not yet. either. There's been no time to slow down and go, wow, that was a really right. big deal and it lasted yeah. years. Yeah. You know, very true. I, I really, honestly speaking of like a blur, ever since like the since pandemic and everything, everything just seems like so surreal, you yeah. know, but, um, but I'm anxious mean, to get back to some, some sense of normalcy, whatever yeah, that something. is. <laughs> we'll see what that looks like. Yeah. There'll be a new normal, probably. There will be. There, so, oh, for sure there will be. And it's always, not to get political, but we live in a swing state, so everyone and their mother comes to visit. They shut down the interstates because yeah. they have to use the airport. Yeah, they do. All kinds of stuff. So yeah. that's in the season, but let this be the last place we talk about politics. Yeah, um, definitely And not the first here. place to talk about good spaghetti squash. Yes, yes. Good spaghetti squash. Oh, yes, and so crafts. Definitely... Oh, we have some, we have some fun... We have some really cool DIYs mm -hmm. coming up too, so uh, I'm I'm excited yeah. about it. You know? Oh, and we had some some wedding gifts that were like made seen on TV. Yeah, so I, we can we wait try, to bust try a couple those of those out, out and, to see what oh, we can yes. do. Not as much even a product review as like let's just try out the let's new. Let's just do it. You yeah, know, obviously if it breaks in the middle, we'll mention mm -hmm. something. But um, and we've been getting some uh, comments. Uh, are we going to open the gifts like on camera and all that? Well, we're not we're not going to like open them on camera like a gift video but we're going to show them as as we use them as we, you know and all show. that yeah we'll mention if it was a gift yeah absolutely us, so. definitely so and now the only thing uh lingering the only thing left are the thank you notes <laughs> luckily <laughs> i looked up cards. like with ann landers or eleanor roosevelt something <laughs> with an etiquette book and it said you can wait like two months two months we have two months to do it well, i guess people take longer honeymoons than us. <laughs> oh <laughs> but it was like okay. two three months out because you have to settle down you have to remember if you're thanking the person yeah that they actually came oh yeah it's not like um, you can just get a generic thank you card and be like thanks i'm just gonna send out a group mm. text yeah hey no, y'all no. i'm gonna <laughs> hand write each one of them because it was very touching very it was touching. yeah it was well, folks, I don't know. You know, I'm so feeling some sort of way about making Hootie Beauty content. <laughs> I oh. know. It's like exciting, but yet dreading it. It's because not... it was very nice not to have that craziness Saturdays in our were lives. wide open. Didn't have to yeah. edit. They're the hardest videos to edit, too. They they're they're hard to edit. They are, yeah. So, they're um, harder than, than the other ones. And too. sometimes I have like an hour of crap I need to file down to like 35 minutes. Yeah. No. I like me, but I wouldn't listen to me for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> right. Especially on a topic like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you'll join us tomorrow. Thank you Definitely. all for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll get alerts when we have new videos and go live. Um, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Our email address, contact info, it's all in the description. Thank you, and I will catch up with you tomorrow. Yes, yes, you will. And then we will be live on Sunday for our regular 6 o'clock live stream. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be seeing you right here on Monday for Mondays with Mark. Yay! <laughs> Thanks again for spending your time with us. It does mean the world to us. You have a fantastic weekend, everybody. And remember, above all else, stay positive, okay? See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, kitty came to us. <laughs>